Hey guys, this is Kate and I'm excited to bring you another um, hip kit project using the October kit. So what I have done is taken four different pattern papers and I have drawn um, two diagonal lines, one from you know going top left to bottom right corner and one going top right to bottom left corner and create basically cut into four quadrants. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut four different quadrants from pattern paper and then put them together to create one pattern paper if that makes any sense. So there's going to be four triangles that make one 12 by 12. And this was the easiest way I could think to do it. Although I didn't have a ruler that stretched the entire like diagonal length of the cart of the pattern paper. So I just used a big piece of watercolor paper that's 18 inches across as my guideline. So that's how I did it. And then I'm just like I said, cutting out the four different um, triangles that I want to use. And I'm, I end up changing this. I originally loved the combination, and I still do, the combination of these four papers. But once I got a picture in front of it, it just seemed too busy. So I end up using the same triangles that I've already cut out. I just flip them over and use the back sides. And I also couldn't decide which picture I wanted to use. So I ended up going with the picture of our wedding rings. So as you can see, when, once I flip that over to put adhesive on it, I'm like, wait a minute. And then I decide that I really like this kind of just different shades of pink look. And I wanted those feathers to go in the right direction, so I had to adjust where they were. Now this, I find that when you like basically cut a piece of paper apart and try to put it back together, it never turns out exactly right. Like it never lines up perfectly. This comes pretty close, but I do have to make a couple of adjustments to get it correctly. And looking at it, that polka dot paper would have been the perfect fourth paper instead of the solid kind of light pink one I have at the top. But I didn't want to mess up another piece of paper and, um, to get another triangle so I just go with what I have. So as you can see here I realize that this one needs to go down first and then the stripe one will kind of fit in. So that's what I did and there's a tiny bit of like overhang but it doesn't really bother me because I like that dark, it's one of the cards from the cardstock add-on, the kind of dark gray color, it's American Crafts. So now I have my background and I really like the way that looks and I contemplated putting some stitching on it but I just, just I decided that less was more with this one and I didn't want to make it too busy. So I am going to use this yellow, um, it's like an ECAT pattern, um, to back the photograph with. And then I'm also think about using some of the polka dot, black and cream polka dot paper, but it's a little bit too busy also, so I end up just going with some vellum. And when all else fails with like matting things or adding a layer, I just find that vellum is usually the best choice for me. I always end up loving the way that it looks. So I'm just going to cut a bit of a border out of this vellum that also comes in the cardstock add-on. And I also wanted to mention, um, if you guys don't aren't a member of the HipKit Facebook group, you should head over there. You don't have to be a member of the HipKit Club to go. We're doing an online crop this weekend. And I will be talking about like, Halloween and aut autumnal um, projects from, I believe it's 5 to 8 Eastern Standard Time. And there's also challenges and giveaways. So you'll definitely want to check it out. And um, we're going to kind of work on, pro it's, we'll work on projects and talk and everything while we're doing it. And um, you don't have to use hip kit supplies. You can use whatever supplies you have. I think it'll be fun, so y'all should head over today. Um, we did it also, and people seemed to really enjoy it, and it was a lot of fun. I stopped by a couple of the other design team members' um, challenges today, and it seemed like everybody was real involved and having a good time. So I just went through and picked out a whole bunch of die cuts, and I didn't talk about it because it really doesn't matter because I don't end up using hardly any of them <laughs> because, again, I feel like less is more on this layout. Now, I did add this little shipping tag. Um, I normally don't add things, you know, from my stash to a kit, but it's a shipping tag and I feel like most people have them, so that was kind of a okay thing to use. I'm going to use this little, um, banner from the Teresa Collins chipboard and the backing of it stuck to the thing, so I 
I'm going to have to use some glue to put it down. And then I'm going to use these awesome gold thickers. And I was going to use the title Our Memories, but then I realized if I use the hour, then story wouldn't really make sense. And I wanted to keep those intact as much as possible. So I end up using the Captured, which my original thought was the title was going to be Us Captured. But then I tried the Us and it just didn't really go anywhere. So I didn't like the a placement for it. So I just end up adding a little heart. I originally put it there. I'm going to move. I'm going to move that heart. And that pretty much finishes the layout. I'm going to um, glue this little chipboard piece down and then I'm going to take a roller date stamp. I think, oh, this is a piece of paper that I cut from one of the 12 by 12 sheets and it says something about life. I ended up moving it down to the bottom right hand side, but it's one of the cut aparts from the um, Maggie Holmes open book collection. It's really cute. And I'm also going to take a roller date stamp and that awesome um, My Favorite Things Hybrid Steel Gray Ink and stamp the date on the little shipping tag. And that is it. I thought about adding more, but I feel like the background is, it makes such a statement that I didn't want to, I didn't want to add too much. Y'all let me know what you think. Do you think it needs some more embellishing or do you think it's okay like this? Thanks guys so much for watching and I hope to see you this afternoon or this evening at the online crop. Talk to you real soon. Bye.